So today I'm off to the Swansea's Grand Theatre to film a show for Kathy Coombs. Kathy runs Solar Dance, but for this performance she's uh, contacted several dance schools around Swansea area. And I know quite a lot of them because they're my clients anyway, so uh, I've got very high expectation because they, the schools are dancing in this show are phenomenal. They're, all of them are incredible. I've heard Kathy's doing one routine with a lovely lady who's in a wheelchair. So I'm actually really excited to see that one as well because that's something I've never seen before. But this is why I say Kathy's so lovely and anybody of any ability can join Solar Dance. So I'm really looking forward to this, really looking forward to this. Whoa, those two ladies almost got run over. The problem is the law in the UK has changed, so the pedestrians have a right of way, but I don't think that car realised that the he should have never entered the roundabout and the ladies had the right way. But he was beeping his horns and giving rude gestures. If it was me, I would have, would regard it, regardless of the law, I would have just let the ladies pass anyway. Why take the risk? Kathy has two daughters and both of them are studying dance in some top universities in London. I don't know what the names of the universities are, but I know the girls from when they were in Neath College studying dance. I remember I always used to think how lovely these girls are, how polite they are, how talented they are, not realizing they're Kathy's daughters. But they are, they are just amazing. And you can tell because of their upbringing, they're really humble and friendly and down to earth, despite their talent. For those who don't know about Swansea's Grand Theatre, it's actually a um, really traditional looking building. And I don't know if you can imagine a Victorian style theatre, that's how it looks. But obviously because it's a listed building, the upkeep must be really expensive. It was built in 1897 I think. During the lockdown, they done a lot of refurbishing so if you haven't been to Grand Theatre since the lockdown they've moved the box office and now as you enter the main doors it's actually a cafe in front of you every time I come down this way it reminds me of when I used to do event photography down at Brangwen Hall used to love doing events because never felt like work it's just getting paid to party effectively it's the building on the left hand side that's Brangwen Hall the reason I say you get paid to party is because obviously you take hundreds of photos but because you get to see the same regulars all the time they become your friends so you're effectively working and socializing at the same time and um, the advantage is it always puts the guests at ease and makes them feel welcome when you do that. And I don't mean just stand around and chat. I mean just be nice and say hello and remember who they are, what they do. It makes a massive difference. It makes them feel really welcome. But it was really hard though because I used to start, say it was a Friday, I'd start work at 5 p.m., finish at around 11, and then I would always edit the photos, and you're talking hundreds of photos, 
overnight, so I had to get it to the press before 8 a.m. the next day. And obviously, if I'm filming in a theater on Saturday, it means I won't get any sleep. I have to go straight down to a theater. So if I was starting work on Friday at 5 p.m., work through the night, go straight down the theater to film the matinee performance and the evening performance, it meant I wouldn't get home till midnight. So I, I have not slept since 5 p.m. the day before. And then when I get home, I have to download all the footage ready for the next day. So I really, in two days, three days, I get about three hours sleep. It's very unhealthy profession, photography and filming. Very unhealthy. Believe it or not, I actually was a gym rat. I used to l spend so much time in the gym. I used to love exercise until I started photography years and years ago. I remember at the time people were telling me, photographers were telling me how unhealthy this profession is and I didn't believe them. But now I can see what they mean. You just don't get time to do anything. You're spending so much time in front of a computer. And obviously because you're spending time in front of a computer, you get hungry and you start binge eating and eating junk food. So it's not, but I'm slowly changing things. I'm going, I'm training more now and slowly getting my physique back. That red brick building in front of us, directly in front of us, is the Swansea YMCA. And there is a theater, there's a small theater upstairs. I don't know which floor. Because I remember filming in there going back a few years ago, long time ago in fact. And uh, it was a lovely theatre, but I don't know if it's still there or not. I haven't been in that building for so long. It was always there. When I was um, a young boy in school, I remember I used to walk past there all the time. Never been in it until I actually went in to film a show once. The building with the grey brick and the red, the tall building in front of us, that's Copper Gate and it's student accommodation basically. But every time I drive past it, there's either Domino's car parked outside or delivery bikes outside or Uber outside delivering food. So there's always food being delivered to that building. Obviously, the students there. This is the entrance to the backstage. Obviously, you got to buzz, and somebody at the front desk will, uh, uh, at the backstage desk, will uh, let you in if you're authorized to park there, obviously. Ah, uh, it was Tina at the desk. Oh, she's so lovely. Love that lady. I swear to God, she must be a vampire or she's found Fountain of Youth because she never ages. I have known her for years. She literally never ages. Her and her son, Will, are just the loveliest people ever. So nice. Oh, I just heard the bang. I'm not sure whether something's caught on the branches. That didn't sound good. Anyway, right, I'll um, offload the car and I'll show you around Swansea Grand Theatre.